All right, today back again with another Floki chart update. And of course, I'm the most open-minded investor slash NFT artist on YouTube. A diverse appetite for risky asset classes ranging between shopping centers and shit coins, but not government bonds, creating contact lens, family-friendly, cookie accepting, cat-free, taking quite specialized tutorials and guidelines to harness the generational wealth transfer found in crypto trends. And last, as a believer, Jesus Christ, and a fan of Gary, and an extremely well-educated and more legal Korean, but with hair naturally curly than the average male, and highly coveted by many moms with daughters, also known as Hamel Kim. And today, we're going to jump right into the charts. And look, in the four hour charts, looks like we have hit the overbought regions twice in the days that I haven't updated you guys with Floki. That's because I've been very busy making money using CopyTrade on BitGet. If you haven't done so, make sure you go check out the video on CopyTrade on BitGet. There are some really awesome passive money making strategies there available for you. Of course, not financial advice. You risk money that you can only afford to lose. I'm just sharing with you what the heck I'm getting up to, how I'm coming to these decisions. And of course, there's a link in the description below so that you can sign up to buy a bit. Uh, yeah, you can sign up to Bybit as well, but BitGet if you want to do copy trading, because Bybit's a really great exchange, actually. If you want to do spot and futures, Bybit is freaking awesome. They got launch pads too, but BitGet, you know, for copy trading, I've been just doing that a fair bit. I think BitGet is going to have copy trading themselves anyway. So right now, I feel like I'm going to sell out uh, on the very last position that I got into on uh, on, on Floki, because I've seen that the, the oversold, uh, overbought regions have been hit twice. I should have been more attentive and actually sold out at this peak or top. Um, I would have been quite tempted to sell at this price here, but I wonder if the price action would have moved too quickly that I wouldn't have caught it. I actually don't feel too uh, bad uh, selling out right now because that was a level which uh, which I bought the asset and I think that is a whopping 26%. So I am complaining. But with the RSI where it is right now, I do expect some price correction to occur as the RSI corrects itself back down to the oversold region again because that is what we are seeing. You know, it oscillate between and we have some further downside depending on how Bitcoin will go. I feel like Bitcoin has consolidated sideways for long enough. If we look at the consolidation period of most consolidations in the past, I mean, you know, this is this is some real science that I'm about to apply right here. Um, this is about what is that? About 21 days or worth of uh, consolidation. We are at day eight, so maybe we would, we may consolidate for a longer period in time. But with the amount of volume that's coming in right now, I just feel like there might be some uh, further uh, move to the downside as well. Um, the initial uh, move to the downside on Bitcoin, I genuinely suspect, uh, would be would be I reckon it'll be the. I mean, we're looking at the triangular. Oh, I mean, is it is it really a triangular sort of? No, nah, it's not really triangular. I'd say, I'd say we're moving more in a box form, right? So there is that that there. It's not quite triangular because it's the slope is not slopey enough. Is that is that a word? Slopey enough? But basically, it, it's sort of moving within that channel right now. So I would say that if it was a, a bearish flag sort of a, a continuation pattern, I mean, I would as aggressively draw the pattern as you know that that far up. And then I might expect the price action to drop as low as that $19,000. Yeah, call me crazy. I don't care. People have called me a lot worse. And so with that, I think at the end of the consolidation, we may see a further downside. Although, 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 I will point this out for you guys. We're in an unprecedentedly um, interesting time right now, okay? If we chuck on the chart, uh, what is that? Is that a thousand dollar moving average? And this is a 200 week moving average right now on the logarithmic charts on a monthly candle on, on Bitcoin. Every time we have come into these regions, bang, right there, it has been great points of entry like so. Now, having said that, uh, these are good zones to buy in right now, but within those zone itself is a pretty wide gap of it in itself. So if we look at the gap between the green and the red right now, Okay, that's a distance of, you know, 29. I'll put a line through it. Okay, Alt H, here we go, Alt H. Okay, so we got 28, uh, 28,000 and 22,000 other, other ranges in those two areas. They're not to mention they're sort of rising as well. But having said that, we did have, in, in, you know, uh, occurrences where we've had, had the price action actually actually stab right below into that, you know, by, by about <laughs> this much. That's all I can really say. Uh, and so if we, if we apply that same thing, uh, and, and we expect that to fall below that uh, by that amount there as well. We're looking at a uh, potential price action of $17,000 and $18,000 uh, Bitcoin as well. So I'd say that, you know, the, from the continuation of that, of that bear flag and, and seeing where that could potentially go down into, I think we will have plenty of time. These are monthly candles, by the way, guys. So there will be plenty of time where the price action stays well below these moving averages as well. So which will give you enough time to actually buy into. Now, why do I suspect that it will go to 7, 16, you know, 18, 19K? Well, predominantly because of this. This is a logarithmic chart. 
got in the past were Bitcoin. Now I'm turning into a Bitcoin analysis channel. Look at that. Yeah, why not? It's all crypto. So same thing, right? That is an 86% correction. That is an 84% correction. I know it doesn't look like it only because this is a this is a logarithmic graph. That's a 73% correction. And so where are we going next? Well, the next 80, 80%, 83% correction um, from our 69K, I would say. 82% correction is about 12K, which is crazy guys. That is seriously nuts. And, and we don't think that it will go as far as that, but even a 73% correction, that is still putting our price action around about that uh, 77%, around about that uh, 15,000 marks. Anything between 11, 15, 17, and 19 sort of areas are good. If you're more aggressive, buy I think in the early 20,000s or, or even the late 10,000s um, on Bitcoin. That's if you want to trade with Bitcoin. But if I were you, I'd probably buy other cryptocurrencies that are all coins with lower market cap. So you get yourself a moon back for the next bull run for Bitcoin. Right now, people are not really playing the Bitcoin game at the moment. And you know, and that's okay because you know these are the times when you do buy and, and, and you do far better. Because every time Bitcoin did dip all these times, everyone was like, yeah, Bitcoin's no more. It's never coming back. Nobody likes Bitcoin. Everyone is just out of it. Kind of like what's happening right now. So if you want to start dollar cost averaging right now, 29K be my guess. I think there is further downside. Uh, just from the vibes of it all. But to say the least though, um, Bitcoin hasn't really gone under uh, this level in the RSI as well. So as we're hitting the RSI level, uh, maybe this could be a time for you to actually start dollar cost averaging in right now, even though you may suffer further losses down the line as well. That being the case, guys, I think coming back to Floki with anticipating the further downside, um, I would suggest that, you know, just looking at the four hour chart, which have been pretty bang on in terms of following the RSIs, I think that there is further downside. I did expect a, a quick bounce up from here because we were in the oversold regions one, two, three, four times, which is quite serious. Um, and that on the, I think, daily time frame, that would have put the, uh, yeah, that did put the, the RSI deep into the oversold region as well. So which then gave me enough confidence to dollar cost average into those areas there. So uh, I am still uh, holding a moon bag, uh, I'm still holding a bag from these positions that I got into above, but this one I think I can com comfortably get out, find a lower position of entry and then get in and I can still make quite good money as well. In fact, even if the price action does correct just only up to here, I can still buy into this with the profits that I made here and I can still wait for another little moonshot to actually make more money on those sort of a bottom feeding trades if you like these are these are obviously moon bags i'm happy for that to sit there it doesn't really matter we'll, we'll get there i think i think if if we pull a dogecoin with uh, floki inu uh this this previous high is going to be nothing when it comes to the, the seriously that's going to look so flat it's not even funny it's going to be it's going to be like this it's going to make that look flat just like that bang it's going to be so flat and then the graph is going to be like up here Whew, not financial advice <laughs> So yeah, there you have it guys. That's the outlook that I have for Floki. Uh, obviously I'm investing in money that I can afford to lose um, and I'm just having fun doing it and you know, lock, clocking in profits and you know, applying some very, very technical, um, technical charting. And that's, that's just been the fun for me with Floki. I obviously don't invest you know, my entire life savings into Floki because that, that would be silly to do that with literally anything, literally anything guys. That being said, sign off to BitGet, sign off to Bybit, sign off to MXC. All the links are available in the description below and I will see your beautiful faces. No, I won't see them because I never get to see your faces. You only get to see my faces. Make sure to share, subscribe, ring that notification bell, smash the like button and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.